Khan. Okay, Shabbat Shalom to the 144,000 and the one third of the elect of the nation of Israel. I'd like to give all the praises to Abba Nawa Yahweh, Bahasham, Hamashayach, Yahweh Shai, Waha Rakaha Kodash. Double honor to the elder apostles, the elders and bishops of the Great Millstone, GMS, who rule and teach Yasha Allah well through the Spirit, leading the flock by example. Salutations and honors goes out to the brothers pushing this gospel, this good news, the 100% truth, the world over, in sincerity, in hopes that it may edify and feed the elect lambs of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai's sake. Alright. To you few sincere sisters doing the right thing, listening, watching, learning. Alright, to you I say Shalom, wa Adwan Ratazar, which means Lord willing. You know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. So, uh, you know, the times that we're coming into, man, you know, it's dangerous, it's perilous. Okay. Alright, and, uh, and judgment is about to be poured out. Okay, well, judgment goes forth, you know, all the time. Okay, but we're coming to a time like never before, ever since there was a nation. Okay, spoken of in Daniel chapter 12, starting at the top. All right. So, as you can see on your device, I've got this article from metro.co.uk. All right. And uh, it says, huge increase in big cat sightings reported across Britain, UK. Okay. And uh, Sunday, the 17th of September, 2023, at 3.28 p.m. was when this article was published. Okay. And in the image, you can see, you know, not so much of a clear image of, a, you know, an animal that they've sighted. Okay. So, it says, what is the truth about big cats roaming in the British countryside? A question that has taunted people for decades. From the notorious beast of Bodmin Moor to the demon or demon of Dartmoor, a string of sightings have been captured in grainy CCTV footage and picture in recent years. Matt Everett, the director of Panthera Britannia Declassified, said there has been a huge increase in quotes of profit of sorry of reports. Um, his team has been open quote inundated end quote after july's release of the film which claims to have uncovered several groundbreaking cases all right it says we have even had new videos and photos sent in which really demonstrates the public interest in this subject last week his team received a video from a man who claimed seeing a leopard and two cubs cross the road in front of him wow Matt said he wanted to remain anonymous for fear of ridicule by his colleagues, harming his career prospects or even losing his job. He claims that when driving over a road bridge on a very isolated and rural part of his route to work last month, he saw a black leopard and two cubs cross the road in front of him before jumping a fence at the opposite side of the bridge and disappearing into dense brush in broad daylight. According to the eyewitness, there was no other drivers nearby. So he was able to quickly stop the car and video the sighting. Another clip released by the filmmakers shows a large dark animal is seen moving around the edge of a field in Norwich. The documentary team previously claimed to have found the clearest photo of a big cat prowling the countryside. Okay. The picture of the large panther like creature was supposedly discovered in the files of a zoology organisation. It shows a large muscular black cat lying in long grass, apparently in Smallthorn, Staffordshire. It was dated March 17, the team said, but it was unclear which year it was taken. Tim Wittard, the show's producer, said we are pleased to have raised, raised public awareness of this fascinating subject. And it does seem that we are now developing a broader and more mainstream acceptance within the public zeitgeist that there is a lot more to this than just folklore and urban legend. Alright, so... Now this this is you know serious okay All right so we, we can see that you know that the lord has you know forms of punishment ready to be uh, administered okay so we'll get straight into the uh, the scriptures all right because all this is, is prophesied all right so we are indeed in some exciting times man and prophecy playing out okay and you, you know, wicked people that walk the earth, all right, you know, you're going to have a rude awakening, man, okay, so let's get the book of Sirach, chapter 39, starting at verse 28, which reads, 
There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Okay, so the Lord has spirits created for vengeance. He has righteous angels on the right hand side and wicked angels, also known as demons, on the left hand side that carry out the commands of Yahweh and Bahasham Yahushai. Okay, and they are ministering spirits, which the word minister means to serve. Okay, so to serve the Heavenly Father and His Son. All right, and they exact vengeance. All right, of the Heavenly Father and His Son. All right, upon the wicked people that walk the earth. All right, in whatever form the Most High pleases, you know, so whatever form He wants judgment to carry out. Well, He's got His angels to do the bidding. Okay, verse twenty-nine. Fire and hail and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. What about that fire in Maui, in Hawaii? Okay. Look at the death toll regarding the floods in Libya, right? The Turkey, Syria earthquake and the Moroccan earthquake as well, right? Famines across the board, man-made and natural, all right? And there's many more to come, all right? These are forms of pain and punishment, all right? And guess what? It takes place under the sun, which is planet Earth, where judgment is played out. All right, Book of Ecclesiastes tells you that. All right, verse 30. Teeth of wild beasts, okay, like that big cat's eye in, and scorpions, serpents, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is, and when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. Okay, so we're coming to a time like no other time on earth since there was a nation all right so it will get wild and brutal out here okay now animals attack people all the time okay so this is nothing new or out of the ordinary you know at all so um you know right now you got and and in the past you know you've had a lot of animal habitats being uh, destroyed okay so now the, these predators they're moving into rural areas, all right, because you know their habitats have been, you know, have been taken over, all right. So they've been displaced, and and you know they're moving, they're moving about, they're on the prowl, things like that. All right, so they're coming to like rural areas, right, where people live and things like that, man, which poses a significant threat, all right. Okay, and don't forget how angry these animals are in the zoo, man, which is a prison for them. All right, they've just been locked up unjustly. Okay, so, that, so they've got all sorts of anger pent up in them and ready to be unleashed. All right, let's get uh, another scripture. Just bear with me. That's it. This is Second Edges, chapter five, and verse eight. There shall be a confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be oft sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and menstruous women shall bring forth monsters. That's right, man. And here's the point: wild beasts changing their places, places where you you don't think they would be. Okay. Now they're over there. All right. So basically, you know, when when these are uh, power grid goes down for the you know the, these um electronically controlled gates that basically you know operate on that power grid when that's when the power grid goes down those gates are going to be open and the animals are going to be loose all right they're going to get busy all right and the lord will put the spirit on these animals to get busy all right all right because these, these animals man they're, they're looking to protect their their cubs or their young ones and things like that, man. All right, and guess what? One clamp of that jaw of a jaguar or you know a puma around your neck, you know that that's you over, you know. Let's get uh, Amos chapter five. We'll start at verse eighteen. Woe unto you that desire a day. Of the Adawan Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai. To what end is it for you? The day of the Adawan Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai, is darkness and not light. 
okay and if you don't have this truth wisdom knowledge and understanding in that time if you're not part of the elect then you basically pray out here but we have faith that we will be su uh, sustained you know because we know what the day of the lord entails all right verse 19 as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him now basically this is metaphoric in that you know we will go from one trouble to the next now it's possible that this could happen that it could be you know from a lion and a bear right you know that could take place but it signifies you know one you know trouble to the next okay now you know you could escape from an animal then you know you end up getting caught by martial law, martial law troops all right i'll get caught up in a, a natural disaster you know you flee from one thing and then get caught up in the next okay so you know there's no escaping the judgment of yahweh shimei all right verse 20 shall not the day of the adawan yahweh by hashami al shai be darkness and not light even very dark and no brightness in it that's right man so it's gloom and doom coming okay and these christians are sadly mistaken thinking that the lord is coming back with with chocolates and flowers and it's going to be a happy dandy day but you know they they, they don't understand the scriptures right see they're spiritually discerned okay let's get isaiah chapter 66 starting from verse 15 all right which reads for behold the adawan yahweh bahasham yahweh shai will come with fire there goes that fire again all right and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire okay so you got your icbm missiles all right you got the chariots okay high concentrated laser beams coming from the chariots man okay you know many about we know babylon the great is going to be turned into a lake of fire it's going to be destroyed okay and other places you know will be hit too you know london may be hit moscow capital of russia may be hit the land of israel okay will, will be destroyed too okay verse 16 for by fire and by sword will the Adawan Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Adawan Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai shall be many. That's right, man. And when you go into the Hebrew word for plead, it's shapat, which means which means to judge. Okay, so the Lord is going to judge. You know, flesh out here, man. He's going to judge all flesh out here, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. And it's by fire, okay? Because the first death was by the flood the great flood of water okay water and fire both cleansing agents okay but that's the balance of the lord because this time it's going to be fire all right to purify the earth as well okay and don't forget about you know leviathan in the sea we can have it as well all right so perilous times are ahead there's no going back to nice happy days and things like that man none of that all right okay with all this danger going on man you got people in these third world countries that are somewhat you know kind of used to that okay they have an idea of that you know but the people in the west you know they you know they're comfortable you know they ain't used to seeing these things you know whatsoever let's get the book of ezekiel or in the hebrew yakazak allah chapter 21 start at verse 9 which reads, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Say a sword, a sword is sharpened, And also furbished. Okay. And, you know, That encompasses, you know, The nuclear technology, The military equipment and technology, The training, Alright, That Esau Edom has prepared. Alright. Verse 10, It is sharpened to make a saw slaughter, It is furbished, that it may glitter should we then make mirth it contemneth the rod of my son as every tree that's right man and guess what it is sharpened to make a saw slaughter all right they ain't just building these uh weapons of warfare for the sake of displaying them in some museum somewhere guess what they invented the grenade they use that they invented the flamethrower they use that they invented um <laughs> many other weapons and they use those 
so what makes you think they won't use this? Okay. And of course it's all the spirit of the Lord, anyway. Alright? And you know mirth going into like joy and happiness. A lot of our people are into that man, so called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, West Indians and Haitians, and Israelite foreigners too, man. They're caught up in the ways of this world and then partying and enjoying yourselves constantly. Alright? So you're gonna be surprised what's gonna come down the line. Alright. Verse 11, and he has given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. And the slayer is Esau, Edom, the so called white man. Okay, because his blessing is a sword, man. That's right, man. And when you, when you furbish something, you sharpen something, you're basically preparing it to be better, to you know, to use it for, you know, to have it, to be, basically be more of an effective tool. All right. That's what happens, you know, when you when you, you, you furbish something, you sharpen it, okay, so it can be used more effectively, alright, just like the weapons that this man has, alright, so, you know, these things are going to be used for destruction, it's as simple as that, man, alright, so, these animals, man, they've got, <laughs> they've got a bone to pick with them people that put them in a zoo, <laughs> You know who's behind that, man. So, uh, you know, I'm going to end the lesson there, man. Kal Halayim, La Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Kwam Yasharala, Wa Abad Babal. Double honours to the apostles of Great Millstone. Shabbat Shalom to the elect. Signing out.